I want to just add one thing, Danny and um, and Marie, and that was that the judge was none too pleased with this attitude. Uh, not only did he get the full 20 years, he got an additional year uh, for probation violation, and then he just threw on an additional 34 days for the contempt of court for that really despicable behavior, that rudeness. Um, but I don't know, may maybe he thought of this later, but he actually had to adjudicate what was going to happen to the dog. The dog had been in an animal shelter all this time, and the county attorney said that the dog had to be kept alive during all this time because the dog was evidence, and the judge said, destroy the dog, period, almost as to put a punctuation on this to him, maybe not so much for the dog, but to him. Do you think that that might have been part of it? Yes and no. I think you're on to something. At the same time, that is not a surprising result. Once right. the dog ceases to be evidence, uh, this is usually the remedy when they when dogs attack. But I think that may have been a punctuation mark at the end of a uh, of a very contentious sentencing hearing, which I have to add happens a lot more often than you think. There is something about people with impulse control problems and a sentencing hearing that they just can't take it anymore, and they, they and control. they flip out. They can't control. Marie, what might have happened to him had he actually been contrite and polite and apologetic and remorseful? What might he actually? He have might have had done? some leniency. There was no leniency. This man was arrogant. He made this judge angry, and the dog. What do you think it cost him? Like an extra ten, an extra five, an extra it one? It could have. It could have cost him. I thought it cost him an extra year. I thought he was going to go with yes. uh, the 20 years. Well, he definitely got 34 for the contempt, but who knows if the judge would have done the whole 20 or if, uh, you know, you, ne you, you just never know. You never know. You never know. Thank you, Marie Napoli. Thank you, Danny Savalos, as always. And thank you, everyone, for watching. It's thank been you for uh, great to have you. Great insight. Appreciate it. Nice to have you with us.